We are just three weeks away from the start of Austin's ban on single-use plastic bags. It will affect almost everyone in the city, and there's a big effort now to help people get ready for it. Today, the city offered training for people with businesses who need to know how to work with a ban. The training focused on how to follow the new rules and how they will be enforced. Well, it's not just the businesses getting ready for the thin film bags to go away, as customers will have to make some changes, too. KXAN's Natalie Stoll takes a closer look. Edward Martinez isn't looking forward to changing his routine. These bags won't be within easy reach by March. That'd be the best thing to do, just bring things from home. A quick trip to the grocery store may take a little more thought, at least at first. You'll want to remember your reusable bag. Something this Arlen's Market customer has been doing for a while. I always come prepared. Every time I go somewhere, I've got to take my bag. The plastic bags, there are a lot of hassle. They're okay, but there are a lot of hassle because a lot of people just throw me in where. Where I live, they just throw the trash behind the fence and that's it. Stores like Arlen's Market are also gearing up, training employees, planning signage, and having plastic bag alternatives with the option of charging customers. Now we are going to have to uh, purchase a more expensive bag that uh, we're not used to passing that particular um, uh, cost to the customer. And that can be a tough call. Competition is charging, we're charging. If we're charging and competition is not charging, then the playing field is not the same. Bobby says he'll have to wait and see, but with fewer plastic bags floating around? I, I think it's going to be a good thing in the long run. It's, in this, initially, no, it's going to be kind of tough on our tougher clientele. Something Edward agrees with. A lot of people can afford them. In East Austin, Natalie Stoll, KXAN News. If you forget that reusable bag, grocery stores still have to provide reusable bags at checkout. They can be thicker plastic bags, paper bags made of 40% recyclable material with handles or cloth bags too. Looking more in depth now, there are some exemptions to the bag ban. Laundry, dry cleaning bags and newspaper bags are still allowed. Also, you'll still be able to get plastic bags for produce, meat and bulk items at the grocery store. Restaurants can still give you paper bags for takeout food and pharmacies can also use paper bags for prescriptions.